This is Daily Dose of Daryl entitled Empathy, Not Sympathy. The highest form of knowledge is empathy, according to Bill Bulliard. And in order to be able to have empathy, you have to be able to put yourself sometimes in someone's place. For instance, my grandmother, I called her Granny, my mother, Teeny, my Aunt Jenny, my Uncle Junior, my Uncle Jesse, my Aunt B, and my Aunt Dot. They were all in West Virginia. My granny's husband, my grandfather, had to be hospitalized, and social service wanted to take them apart. Granny moved to Alabama, got a job in the textiles, and kept them together. My mother, being the oldest, dropped out of high school to help also, and each one did their share. Now, if you've never had to face those kinds of things around the Depression times and coming forward, it's hard to put yourself in that place. Some people have had a charmed life, and they've never had to really deal with things, and it's hard for them to understand other people that are going through terrible things. When something bad happens to a friend, or even a friend or a passing acquaintance, uh, sometimes we try to reach out and say, everything happens for a reason. This too shall pass. Just look on the bright side. God has a plan. But although these sound good, really they do much to help the other person. And I don't believe people do this intentionally. We, we do it because we don't know what to do. It's then we try to imagine what they must feel like. Could a greater miracle take place than for us to look through each other's eyes for an instant? Henry David Thoreau. You know, empathy has three types. Cognitive, emotional, and compassionate. Cognitive is putting yourself in someone else's place to see it from their perspective, walking a mile in their moccasins. And that's what all of us can try to do. You see, there is no greater intelligence than kindness and empathy. And we move then toward the emotional type of empathy when you actually feel the other person's emotions. It touches your heart and your emotions and you can feel them. And then there's the compassionate empathy, not only feeling but taking action to help, real compassion. And some people have a hard time being compassionate. Empathy is seeing with the eyes of another, listening with the ears of another, and feeling with the heart of another. It's as vital to life as the air we breathe. But if you've never really moved into that area, it's very difficult to understand people and to be understood and many times you come across as hard and not caring. As you look at these pictures of my family, realize there are things you can do, even if you haven't experienced what they have. One, acknowledge other people's pain. Perhaps the best thing you could do is to acknowledge how the other person feels. When you connect with someone's pain or struggle, it helps them feel supported. I'm sorry you're going through this. Wow, that really sucks. I hate this happened. That must be hard. That sounds really challenging. The second thing is to share how you feel. Sometimes it's okay to simply admit you don't know what to say and that you're having a hard time imagining what it would be like to be poor or sick or discouraged or in grief. Whatever you do, just make sure you don't diminish the other person's experience or make it all about you. Instead, focus on sharing your feelings to, to help you better connect with theirs. Wow, I don't know what to say. I can't imagine what must be going on right now in your life and what you're going through. I wish I could make it better. My heart really hurts for you. It makes me sad that this happened. And then third, definitely show interest. Going through difficulties can be terribly isolating and lonely. That's why people share their struggles. 
They're longing for a connection. They want someone to take an interest in their story, their situation, and understand how they are feeling. So ask, how are you f feeling about everything? What has this been like for you? I, I want to make sure I understand. What I'm hearing is that you are feeling sad or lonely. Is that right? Is there anything else you want to share with me? So real people in life, real leaders in life, real people that can find the key to life is empathy and compassion and kindness. Those are the ones we can connect with. I challenge each one listening to this daily dose of Daryl to truly reach out in empathy to others and hone your skills of being an empathetic person. And God bless you. And I know he will. This is Daily Dose of Daryl entitled Empathy. It is the key to life and leadership and often reveals our connection to God or the lack of one. I'm Daryl R. Peebles, an ordained minister trained in art and the fire service. I've retired from the local church leadership roles to share my ministry by producing digitally recorded presentations made just for you. Give me a call at 336-516-3793, an email to darylpeoples at gmail.com, the website darylpeoples.com. Let us go to box 953 in Graham. Subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends, all of you click like, and each one of you come back every day for something new. Today now, go out and have a great day. Make it a great day. It's the only one you have. And remember, develop your skills of being an empathetic person. And God will amaze you with his blessings. Be filled with the power available to you now. It is a power for living. God bless you.